Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Let's hit random. Yeah. Soon I should play Eden. Hey Maggie, I feel like random actually hasn't given me Maggie for a while, and <laughs> now that makes it okay. Here's the seed, if you want to play along. Oh, this should, uh, this should be good. I keep meaning to use the, um... Isaac randomizer site that someone linked me because it has all the characters except the lost and then I don't have to use a 10 sided die on a website or something like that or you know any of that weird business or the seemingly terrible random function in the game where random is just Maggie a lot of the time <clears throat> but maybe I won't and maybe I'll I don't know I just keep forgetting so with small rock is a uh, one damage up no longer a tears up or a um, feed down. That was pretty worth. So best bud was that really fast moving fly you saw spawn when I got hit, and that is um, that is it. Doesn't block tears. It does decent damage, but it moves really fast, so it's kind of useless because you can't really hit stuff with it for very long. And I I want to be able to use it. Okay, that was the dream right there. Oh, this room went perfectly. Unlike the last time I had a similar room where it was 100%. Uh, What's their faces? Gapers? Chasers? Uh, this one actually went well. Do I have mom's key or something? Am I living life in a fairy tale? Because that was pretty sick. Okay, so there, there are two... Interesting rooms. One is most likely a library, and that should be this one, because it's right next to spawn. Really? Are you even trying? But I picked that book up, and hopefully in this game, the libraries still increase your chance of getting other libraries. Or books... Picking up your first book increases your chance of getting future libraries. Hopefully that still works. Because if not, I'll be pretty sad. You know, not. Not happy. Okay, that can't be our secret room. So our secret room is probably like to the... Can it be here? Probably here, because I'm guessing that there's going to be a room down from the other one. I guess reasonably well. Or at least to some extent, I guessed reasonably well. Not interested in buying any of these, and I'm happy to donate to the shop. We're getting awfully close. 985 means 14 to go. And then I'll bomb it, and then I'll never <laughs> get to 999 again. There's no reason to keep it at 999, but don't donate past 999, because then it explodes, drops dimes, and uh, is empty the next run. So it's just, don't donate your thousandth cent, because that's not strats at all. Get it to 999, then bomb it so it doesn't have 999 in it anymore, so you don't accidentally donate that last cent because that's how you make yourself sad and I'm not about that <clears throat> okay so I did leave three soul hearts available so that I could not lose them this floor and pick them up uh, before I went to the next floor that'll be pretty great Alright, let's try to use this dude. Because it does do good damage when you can hit with it, it's just way too fast to be useful most of the time. HP up and luck up, that's pretty exciting actually. I like magic scab. It and I get along relatively well. Alright, so I'm going to hit up the batteries in that other room, then I'm going to get all the soul hearts and everything's going to be great. I don't know how much health I'm missing, so I'm just going to use them both and it'll be fine. Definitely a max health now. <laughs> That's really all I needed to know, right? Cool, so I have three soul hearts, five health, because Maggie spawns with one extra heart. Lower speed, otherwise normal stats. Oof, let's not shoot those. Let's not do that, man. Look for the top secret room. 
surprisingly not there, so I guess it's probably actually here. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Alright, so let's see what the next floor has for us. No curse. That's awesome. And not something I usually expect. I almost always get a curse when I don't want curses, which is always. Alright, so there's another tinted rock. This floor I don't need to wait. Wrecked, man. I got wrecked. I decided it was worth it, and it was indeed worth it. I got 11 cents out of it alone. I need more keys, though. I don't know how tempting it is to go for that golden chest. I need more keys still, now that I'm going for this golden chest. Enough for the shop, for an item. Though I mostly want to donate it, because this is enough money to get the rest of the shop finished. Unlock that stopwatch. Darn it. But we'll see what happens. Maybe this will have a key in it. No, no it won't. I'm not about to skip the item room, so... A. So Peeper isn't bad in this game. It doesn't push your bombs. Uh, it still probably does the same damage, which I think it did seven? No, I think it did eight. I'm getting hit here. Oh, I didn't have to. Uh, yeah, Peeper totally did eight. But now it also blocks tears, which is awesome. Oh, hello, two red fires. Don't mind me. Eleven cents is all I need. Will it let me? No, no it will not. And so it, so it was that we got to do another run before having the stopwatch unlocked. That much sooner before I have to even consider using a lost for a second. And the fun was preserved. In the world. Wonderful. This could be the secret room. It's a pretty good candidate. Sweet. Also sweet. I like keys. I do. I would have liked if it had skeleton key more. But sometimes that just is not, not life. I really don't like the pink champions shooting the tears every which way, all randomly and whatnot. That's always sad. So we're gonna have plenty of health to take a deal with the devil here. If, of course, there are any items for trade for health, which is not always something you can count on anymore. I love the three three item devil rooms. Those are great. Those are the best. Could burn through all of my health right now. I would do it. And I would not There's nothing that would make me happier than allowing me to burn through five red hearts for three good devil room items. Tears up by 0.4 and two soul hearts. That's actually pretty excellent. But then there's these these happen as well. And these are the sad ones. So I'm I'm good to go then. Sad life, but hey. All right, so let's see what's on this floor for us. So far, so good. I like that I've got the fire rate up and the damage up. These two things in conjunction with one another increase my DPS in two manners. <laughs> Sorry, I can't go through with this. It's too stupid. Alright, I'm definitely going to the curse room. Could hold all sorts of wonders. I really didn't think it would charge that far. Otherwise, I would have actually dodged farther. Oh, oh that's beautiful. This is so good. So I'm taking Guppy's Collar, 50% chance that I revive when I die. Guppy's Hairball, a useless flail, essentially. It's not useless, but it's pretty useless. It does block tears, which is nice. But you have to kill things with it in order for it to grow, and that's just... ugh. And then it shrinks at the start of the next floor, so it's like... It's just not good, but it's a guppy piece now, so that's what matters. And I'm definitely taking there's options, which hurts me to say, because it, it's just... it's not right. 
Gotta match your plurals and stuff. Man. But it makes it so that there are two items after every boss rather than just one. And that's very nice, having a choice between some items in order to um, best fit your build, hopefully. Nice when it works out. Yeah, I have to. Could have made me guppy. There was no way to say no. It was literally impossible. Speed up. Maggie does spawn with lower speed, so that's pretty fantastic. I found pills doesn't hurt me at all. Doesn't do anything. So as the hairball gets bigger, it does actually get more and more useful. It's not... Like, if you have it to a reasonable size, which it's maxed now, I think, it does decent damage and has reasonable control. You can actually control it. When it's tiny, it's practically worthless, which is the hardest part about making it usable, because it's really hard to kill anything with it to get it bigger. So, hey. But uh, if you have it at a reasonable size by your Isaac fight, for example, or any fight with lots of tears, you can just like position yourself like this and you're not going to get hit by tears from the front. Uh, it's also more effective than Trinity Shield. By the way, because it's not limited by height. So that's pretty cool. And its hitbox is a little more generous. You just have to position yourself decently. So Goathead, by the way, makes it so that I'm guaranteed to earn every possible Devil or Angel room, meaning not on floor one and not on like the cathedral and such, but every possible one to earn. And it's guaranteed that those rooms will stay open indefinitely. Wow. I'm not excited about either of these things. I'm going to take the range up. Range is actually reasonably valuable in this game. Due to all the large rooms and such. So, that's pretty cool. There's a tinted rock. I wasn't sure there was one for a second. This is a good room to get, because usually there's a tinted rock, and, uh... It's just nice. It's very nice. Alright, I think I want to play this, because... Why? I don't see a reason not to. Get some money. Oh, get the blood bag, which was also my goal. The blood bag is health up and um, four red hearts of recovery. Filled health up, four hearts of recovery. And uh, unless it's not anymore, but I'm pretty sure it is, it still feels like it. It's a point three speed up. So basically, it's pretty nice. It was kind of exactly what I wanted out of that. Besides a little more money than I got. Because it, it, it gave up and gave me the item too quickly. That's not a big complaint, though. That's just kind of nice luck in one way and bad luck in another. Freaking epic fetus. It's so boring. I don't want it. It's not fun to use still. It's powerful, but... It's boring. But at least it didn't get the... Uh, um, Dr. Fetus Treatment, where it's now one of the worst items in the game, it's still one of the best. And we have to thank it for that. Alright. What are you? Full health. Okay. The Tower. Spawns troll bombs about the room. This is a good room for that, honestly. No, let's do it now. See if it'll open my secret room or not. No. By the way, um, Epic Fetus and Dr. Fetus, in, in fact, but Epic Fetus is a special item. Still. Special items in this game lower your chance of finding other special items. Uh, still. With a greater effect, I believe. But, you only have to see a special item for it to count as adding to your special counter rather than picking them up. So, Sadly, seeing Epic Fetus there made it that much less likely that I find D6, uh, Pyromaniac, any of the good special items that I would really like to see. Because Epic Fetus is a good special item. Don't. That's not what I'm trying to say. Fortunately, it means I'm also less likely to see um, Dr. Fetus, which sucks. Soy Milk, which mostly sucks. It's usable sometimes. 
And it's really good sometimes, too. And, uh, bad special items. So, you know, two sides of the coin there. Most likely to see Brimstone or Mom's Knife. I don't really want to use either of those this run. So again, good, good stuff happens, too. Don't want to see the... I don't have the D100 unlocked on this save, so I guess that's okay. Didn't want to see that particularly, but I don't have to worry about that. The Hermit. Vision. Gives me the full map for the floor. Including the secret and top secret room. That's nice. Darn, I really wanted to get that kill on you. Excellent. That's actually, like, exactly how I wanted that to go. Pretty perfect. Ipecac, I'll take it. Ipecac is interesting and a lot harder to use than uh, Epic Fetus. I won't even say it's harder to use than Dr. Fetus now because, honestly, Dr. Fetus is so bad that it's really hard to use. So I can't really honestly say that anymore. So Ipecac is still tricky, though. Arcing Bomb. May as well take my Hermit card since I can bomb for it for free. And uh, the nice thing about it in this game, though, is that it makes it so that it always hits if it hits, like, if its shadow hits an enemy rather than if the ball itself hits an enemy. Sadly, I don't think I can bomb this out. Just stuck there. Forever to be sad. I'll go in chest room. Darn, I would love to know. Well, I can open one, I guess. Flight and an eternal heart? That sounds awesome. I get to bomb into the boss challenge room. Look for magic mushroom. Really? You, you think so? All right. Grab those two. Don't mind. Thanks. Lots of pills to try. Man, that sounds bad. Alright. Speed up. Cool. Flight is really valuable in this game, by the way. Darn. Well, that was moderately unfortunate overall, as it turned out. Can't win them all, though. Remember, I am two-thirds guppy, so I'm really itching to get... Oh, I don't want to kill you. Uh, there we go. Now I can... Get Turns all chests into red chests, which is very much more exciting than the random mushroom effects, since each of them could give me guppy. That last piece I need. Ipecac adds 50 to your damage, by the way. If you're wondering how much of a damage up and such it is, 50. I'm surprised that didn't um, stop it from popping up. I didn't even go to the boss challenge room yet. <laughs> I went in there and I didn't bomb through. Oh well, I can go from here. Rats. Alright, I would like to blow you up. Just so you know. Perfect, although not perfect. Krampus is going to give me an item that I most likely don't want. I mean, I'm okay with Lump of Coal. But at the same time, I'd rather have gotten. I'll take it. Like, that's fine. But it's not... I guess I'd have... I don't know. Neither of them is particularly exciting. Is the problem with Krampus right now. I don't even need Guppy anymore, because I don't think Ipecac spawns flies. Maybe it spawns flies on direct hits now. I don't think it did in the original. Okay, second eternal heart. Uh, I should actually use this dude in here. Well, he's not going to spawn any hearts for me. So if he if it had been a regular beggar and spawned hearts for me, they would have been eternal hearts in there, and that would have been nice because more health ups and stuff. But hey, that's fine. What did I get? Contract from below. Double drops from rooms. Very nice. Wow. 
Both of those kind of suck. Guess I'll take this and use it once and then get rid of it. I can use this once because I, I, I don't have a heart. Yeah. Strats, boom. I have keys now, I can go, oh, and I have flight so I can get the black heart. Perfect, I'm glad I checked the map. Checking the map is uh, usually a good thing to do before ending a floor. Because you can remember, hey, I have this golden chest here. Oh, right, it's a red chest now. And I've got this black heart here that I can now fly to. Very good. I don't remember what was in the shop. Where's my hermit card? I think it's in there. Right, because I took the... Yeah. See, I figured it all out. So I guess I'll use the hermit right away on the next floor. I don't think there was anything in uh, in the shop that I needed. Just go. There's a pretty decent chance that I won't be using um, Krampus's head at all, but I wasn't using my other item either. So it's no big deal. It's a little silly. But no big deal. I'll be back. It's great. How sad. Doubled room drops, man. So good. This is depth one, so I'm good to go. Fight the boss right away since I'm here. Look how much health Monster 2 has. Nice catch, though. Alright, do it, you won't. Toothpicks, tears, and shots beat up. Yes, please. Yeah, I'll be taking that. Pact is, um... I could take the razor blade and carry it for the rest of my life. Since it's free, I'll do it. I won't end up using it for now, but I can use it later and it'll be great. If I end up with Polaroid invincibility, if not, I didn't pay for it anyway. Just used the health down pill as a health up pill. Uh, anyway. What was I even saying? Oh. Damage up by 0.5, tears up by 0.7, and two soul hearts very worth it. Bloody Lust increases my damage for the entire floor when I get hit. Up to six times for 6.5 damage. First three hits are 0.5, next three are 1.67. And life is good. So that'll synergize with the Razor Blade if I end up using it at all. Though generally if I'm using a Razor Blade I'm probably doing it for free because I want to do it under uh, Polaroid Invincibility rather than rather than like for actual what it's supposed to do. Razor Blade increases my damage on use at the cost of one red heart, if there's a red heart available, it takes them first, uh, for the cost of one heart. It'll increase my damage by 1.2? I think, I think it's 1.2. Because I think um, Red Patch is 1.5 razor uses and it's 1.8. So I think 1.2 is correct. So that's fine with me. And of course in this game, Ipecac actually gets larger with your damage. Ooh, that was a close one. So this is actually, like, fun if I end up using the razor blade with invincibility and such. Alright, I guess so. I guess so, game. I don't really need the money, though. Oh, I hate when it does that. Then again, I didn't need the money. Not that I'm taking it anyway. There you go. Oh, I did mean to check what the pills were in here. 
Now I'm back to do so. Speed up, I've probably already maxed my speed, so that's no big deal. All right, well, we'll hope for a PhD so this can turn into luck up. Remember, we did get one lockdown, so that kind of sucked. Oh, there we go, now we guppy. So normally we would spawn flies with the hit of our, hits of our tears, but I don't know if we do with Ipecac, like I said. And our familiar's tears will, but I don't know if peeper hitting counts as a familiar for that. So I'm just kind of... Oh, that can't be the secret room. Yes, it's here then. Yeah, I don't know if we got anything useful out of that. Basically what I'm saying. Alright, let's get out of here. Get that'll, if you will. And hopefully next floor Goathead will give me enough to, uh... trade away all my health and have invincibility from the Polaroid since I get the Polaroid next floor. That'd be good. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright. I like the look of this curse room. It's, uh, giving me a good look. Ah, well, I lied. I misread its look, I guess. Remember, every little bit of damage I take helps me out, sort of, through uh, damage up. Since I'm really fast, I can actually dodge some Ipecac shots of my own that look like I shouldn't be able to dodge them, and that's really nice. When did I get 13 keys? Also, how is it that the Ipecac shot just partially damaged that poop? Doesn't make sense. Interesting how that didn't turn into a red chest. But the others did. Oh yeah, so interesting thing is that the poison on a, an enemy that's tied to another enemy is transferred to that other enemy that it's tied to. I don't need that anymore. So by poisoning one of the masks, I can see which heart it's connected to, or by poisoning one of the hearts, the mask will also get poisoned, all that cool stuff. It's very interesting. And strange, at the same time. Like, I don't know why that's the case. Sorry, just a second. Later, buddy. Also later, buddy. So exploding poops and fires is worthwhile in this game. Explosions still get you the drops from them. Which, I'm, I'm glad that changed. I'm also not glad that changed, because not having to even worry about it was kind of nice. Okay, what are you? The moon. Secret room teleport. Useless pill doesn't do anything. Oh, I already picked it up, apparently. Oh, dear. Win it. Oh god. This is like the most enormous shot speed up in history, of course. Practically hit scan at a certain distance. It's kind of fun. This makes me a little bit happy. Obviously, I'm not spawning any flies, if you didn't notice. Okay. Got this eventually. Nailed it. Double my bombs. I didn't really need to, which is why I just did it. This admiration. Strong attack fly. Mid-range. Um, it's good. I like it. Thanks for not having an animation with your attack. I love that. It's the best when things do that. It's too hard to shoot those with this setup. Magician, homing tears for a room. Pretty good with uh, what I got. Yeah, I'm taking BFFs, and I guess I'll take the habit because it's there. BFFs makes my familiars larger and more damaging if relevant. So you can see that both my uh, Distant Admiration as well as Peeper are enormous and uh, pretty hugely damaging. 
though the damage may not have yet been noticed. Oh, there was another key, of course, because I have that thing. I'm just using the moon. <laughs> I, I just feel so silly. It's great. So habit makes it so that uh, every time I get hit, I get one room's worth of charge for my use item. Which is pretty darn good. Except that my use item doesn't get charges. Yes, it has infinite use. Really though? Got this. Dude, I'm getting pretty good at aiming this, honestly. I think it'll land in exactly the same place as it normally would. It's just really hard to judge that because of stuff. Really, that doesn't count. Because it goes all loop to loopy. What are you? Hanged Man's obviously worthless. Death is pretty worthless, too. The sun, I can deal for that. Alright. All I need to do is lose my health by the next, like, two floors. I don't need to do it now. Because next floor I also have a double room. Darn it. There it is. Oh, that totally hit me. Oh, well, that's fine. All right, fine. Oops. Oh well. Polaroid ahoy. Look at Peeper not pushing that bomb. The self-restraint shown it was wonderful. Sadly, I'm still gonna have this eternal heart because I didn't trade it to the blood donation machine. But that's fine, I can just trade it at the uh, next devil room. And it'll be fine. It will be K. I want to make this enormous Ipecac ball, though. It'll be great. Truly wonderful. Really? I've seen this room, like, twice. There are a lot of cool rooms in the game that you don't see very often. And then there are a lot of meh rooms that you see all the time. And that's... That's the fun, I guess. <laughs> Later. And it was nice knowing you. I don't know why I'm even bothering to go in here, but I am. Oh, that makes me sad. Can't bomb out of mini boss rooms, of course. You know what? I'm just gonna. This is the easier way to handle this. Than trying to shoot them constantly with everything. Alright. I don't know how that missed and how that hit, but I'll take it. I was gonna say nice shot, and then it wasn't a nice shot at all. It was a terrible shot, and I should feel bad. Oh man, it looped clear around it. It's pretty silly though. Can't really not love this. You're not allowed. It's not how it works. There's a secret room here. Boom, toasted. Darn. There we go. Really? That doesn't count and that counts? Fight me, nerd. Cool tinted rock. Okay, that was pretty worth. How was that the wrong way, though? This blows my mind.
Nope. Learn to aim. Yep, that was that was aim. I promise. Wasn't at all just good luck. I learned to aim when I told myself to, and it was uh, it was pretty nice actually. All right, this devil room's better contain an item for health trade. Oh, what a surprise! It's Mr. Fred. I've never fought this boss before in a double boss room in this uh on this floor. There are definitely not any other double bosses uh, I could fight. Really though? Really though? No. No. Curse the blind. 1.5 damage multiplier, okay good. Judas's shadow allows me to respawn as Judas. With seven base damage, probably a two times damage multiplier. Should I die? Two black hearts only for health. But now we have that uh, whole invincibility business for our Polaroid. Sadly, I can't donate to that donation machine. At the same time, that might be a good thing. Darn it! I used the key by accident. So of course this 1.5 damage multiplier, as well as all stats up, but mostly the 1.5 damage multiplier, is gonna make my life awesome. Like, you can see how much larger the Ipecac shots are. Which is cool. I like when things make a difference in my run. I don't even know why I didn't bother with that room. Like, it's not even a hard room. It would have been pretty easy with my particular build here. <laughs> Shot clean past it and came right back around for another go. Oh, okay. Pass on the paralysis. I'll probably use the sun card on the cathedral for the map. That'll be fun. Easy. All right. Whoa. Whoa a second. Okay, that was cool of you. Yeah, overall pretty good damage output. I totally didn't dodge that, but it totally gave it to me somehow. That double room's just a trap door. It means it was not useful to go into. But it's okay, because I successfully traded my health away. What if I had gotten sides, though? That would have been so fun. I had to go to the secret room. I, it was decided. See? What if I hadn't gotten those three cents? The world might be a completely different place from the one that you know. It was important. Oh, I clean missed them. I don't really need bombs, I just need keys. I would love to get hot bombs. That would be great. I keep <laughs> shooting them towards myself. Only feels a little bit ridiculous. And thanks. Alright, just a second. Alright, we're good. Life is life is fine. That one's invincible until I kill the other one. Those darn white champions. Not even a ghost champion, just the white ones. Dang it. I unsuccessfully placed there we go. Now I have my better Trinity Shield. Except that I then moved. And as such lost my better Trinity Shield. Alright, no, 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 don't mind me. Oh, almost perfectly dodged it. It was just 
either really tight or I don't know. Alright, what do we got? Be good. Blank card I can't even use. There's not really a benefit to any of the others. Like, that would give me health, which would harm me ultimately. Blank card, I don't have a card. I might die here, by the way. I would not be surprised. Then again, then I'd get my two times damage multiplier. I want to have health left, so I can use the razor blade a lot. Take it, bum friend. Good job. Capricorn is, of course, a 0.5 damage up, the strongest all, the strongest damage up of the all stats ups, besides the multiplier from Magic Mushroom, but that's uh, not you know, what I'm talking about. All right, shoots a V of Tears and uh, spawns flies when I get hit. Also became Lord of the Flies, I notice, which uh, makes it so that I gain flight, which I already had, and I get all of the flies in the room as allies? Oh god, no. Should I walk into a room with small flies? That's pretty cool. Oh, come on. Just, that's not what I need from you right now. I don't know why sometimes it's hitting the ground sooner. That actually doesn't make sense to me. Eventually, it'll go back to normal. There we go. Alright, cool. I actually thought that might hit me. You can see that my flies are, like, incredibly damaging. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Alright. I really don't have very much health, so sadly, even if I do get to use the razor blade a lot, I'll probably die, and then it probably won't get me that much damage, in all honesty. It'll be sad. BFFs doesn't affect my flies, by the way. That's hive mind that would. I don't have any buff for them there. This is a really long horizontal floor. Lard wouldn't ruin it, but I don't want it. I walked right into that, unfortunately. Nope, sorry, buddy. You're dead. Oh, that was close. I like the whole three-shot thing I got going here. Alright, if it's not off of this somewhere, I'm going to be really surprised. Alright. Got this. See? Oh god, I pushed it to the place where I was going. Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm barely gonna get to mash at all. This is gonna be lame. Probably gonna die. Or not. Really, you're gonna make it this hard to kill myself? There we go. This is actually a little more difficult than you might think. At the same time, I can just do this. See, look how much bigger that gets. Alright. Then we die. So that we get an extra death for our progress. So that's good stuff. We apparently picked up an item we had. I don't know what it could be. But I'm pretty sure, just to make sure, I have indeed picked up Epic Fetus. So, we're fine there. So that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.